Hey guys, today's topic we'll be covering the, uh, how you can recover data from your USB pen if you have deleted them. Um, today's to, uh, the toolkit we're going to be using today is uh, Autopsy, which is a forensic platform. It can be used by law enforcement, military and corporate examiners to investigate what happened on a computer. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to get a USB pen, put a file onto it, delete the file from the USB pen and still manage to recover it from the USB pen. And the good thing the good thing about this is that it's free. Link will be in the description on where to download autopsy. So let's get started. Hey guys, so what I've just done now, I've made a Word document called YouTube. And right now I'm gonna put my USB pen in. I'm gonna put it into my USB pen. So where's YouTube? I'm going to drag it to my U drive. I'm going to delete it from here so I don't have no copy of it anymore because this is my USB pen. As you can see, I'm going to press delete. delete. So now we want to do now, look, there's nothing in my USB pen. So, okay, I've done an assignment for university. I've now deleted my work. You're going to be thinking, oh, right. I need to get my work back. What am I going to do? Do you want to spend all those hours doing it again? Or do you want to try to recover it? So right now I'm going to be showing the 2K autopsy and show you what you can do to recover it. So let's get started. So right now we're going to be opening autopsy. It's just starting up. Could take a few moments. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to create a case. So, we're going to call the case YouTube. We're going to, it's going to be saved in Documents. So you click Next. Very easy to follow interface. It's just like a wizard, you just follow through. Case number, we'll call it, well, I think I've, I've used it before, so I'll just call it, let's say, 100. Examiner, I'll just call it Geeky Stuff. Finish. Right, so what we want to do, we want to recover it from a local disk, which is a drive that you insert, or it could be your C drive, any drive that you have basically on your computer that you want to scan. You can uh, restore information from your hard drive, but it will take much, much longer than recovering it from something such as a USB, which is 7.6 gigabyte. So what we're going to do now, we're going to select it. Um, I'm going to click next so recent activity such as browsing use documents and store program it's got many other features which I will explain in later videos right now we're going to re uh, recover the document that we deleted from the USB pen so everything's checked just click next so now what it's doing now is processing the data source and it's going to add it all to the database uh, it could take a while, so I'll bring it back to the screen once everything's finished scanning. Now that all the data has been added to the local database, and currently the files are being analysed. So what we're going to do now, we're going to click finish. So as you can see, drive E is my USB drive. Uh, as you can see in the bottom right corner, you can see that the, it's still as 92% on analysing files, but you can still search the drive while it's being analysed. So, okay, I'm using the trial version of uh, Camtasia Studio. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, so if we click Drive E, we're going to expand it. I expanded Drive E, and as you can see, you can see the YouTube doc right there. Uh, if you click text, you can view what, you was, what was put in it. As you can see, this is all I wrote in it. So now that we've recovered, now that Autopsy has found the file that we deleted from the USB pen, if you want to retrieve the file, you right, you right click the file. Oh, I'm having some difficulties. You right click the file. You then extract file. 
Uh, bear with me, my computer is... Oh, okay. And we can save it to desktop. And then you click save. Files have been extracted. We minimize this. And as you can see, the YouTube is there. We click it to confirm. It's just starting up. Bear with me. And there.